Moses went up to Mount Sinai, and he stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights, God taught him the entire Torah. He came down, and when he witnessed the terrible sin of the golden calf, Moses took the two tablets that he had received and smashed them to the ground. He beseeched God to forgive the Jewish people, and once again was invited by God to come up for a second time. What did Moses do the second time around, the second 40 days and 40 nights? He had already studied the Torah with God the first time. Rabbi Gifter explained that Moses had to relearn the Torah. He had to relearn it in a way that he could effectively teach it to the Jewish people after the sin of the golden calf. You see, they were on a higher level before and the Torah would be taught one way. Now that they were on a lower spiritual level after the sin of the golden calf, Moses had to relearn the Torah and relearn how to teach it. There was a beloved teacher, educator, uh, Rabbi Rabbi Rosenholz of blessed memory, one of the first graduates of Chafetz Chaim Yeshiva. He told his students, that there's no such thing as a bad student. There are students who need a better teacher. That's why Moses relearned the Torah again, to teach the Jewish people on the level that they were at. And that's our job. When we try to teach or speak, educate, discuss, share a message, share a thought. Our job and our task is to perceive as best as we can where the person we are speaking to is coming from and reach them at their level, not at ours. Have a fantastic Shabbos.